Hi there, I'm Daisy from Daisy Victoria, and today I'm going to teach you how to lace a corset using the double spiral method. This method is very common for corsetry because it gives you a lot of stability and control over your corset. And it looks like this in your finished corset. So it's called the double spiral method because it creates X's using two spirals. So one important thing to note is that we're going to be leaving these long pieces here at the waist. This is very important because you want your tension to be at the waist of your corset and not just at the top or the bottom because the waist is going to be that point where you're actually pulling yourself in the most. Now the lacing I'm going to be using today is a double-sided satin ribbon and you can purchase that lacing from my website daisyvictoria.com and I'll put a link in the description. By the way, you can also get a corset there. Alright guys, so let's get started! This is a white Dupiani silk underbust corset and this is the double-sided satin ribbon I will be using. I'm kind of doing this upside down so that it looks right side up for you guys. So we'll see how it goes. Now, one thing that's important is that you want to figure out where those long pieces that you're going to tie are going to go. So in this one, I have put two grommets closer together at the waistline of the corset. Now, those two grommets may or may not be closer together in your corset. If they are not, that's fine. You get to choose where that goes. So just make sure that it's at your waistline. Now, it's important to know where that is because we're going to factor that into how we're positioning the laces because we want them to come out through these holes. So these are out ones. So that means that the X above them goes under, the next one goes over, the next one goes under, and the next one goes over. So that means in that first set my X needs to go over top. So to do that, I'm going to bring these up from the bottom. Now if you figured it the other way and your X needs to be under that one, you'll just put them in through the top first. So I'm pulling my ribbon all the way into those two first holes. So from here, I'm going to start creating my X's or my double spirals. So with one of the laces, I'm gonna go in from the top and then I'm going to skip that one on this side and pull it out from the next one. And pull that all the way through. So you can see what I've done is I've just gone over from the top and then under from the bottom. So now I'm going to do that with the other side. When I like to do this such that the same side is on top each time. So the way I'm doing this, um, this side is coming over. So I'm actually going to feed it underneath the one on the bottom just to be consistent and make that side be on top for the over X and for the under X. You don't have to do that, it's just personal preference. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got our first X. <laughs> we've got an over X and an under X. So now you're going to keep doing that until you get to the waistline. Okay, so now I've reached the waistline of my corset. Next, I need to create those bunny ears so I can use those to tie my corset. So to do that, I'm gonna make one variation on the way I have laced this so far. Instead of going back over, I'm gonna go back in from the same side. So I'm just gonna go right back in like that and then that creates this nice piece of ribbon you can use to tie. 
and then I'm going to take that out from under on the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing with this side. So right now I've got my bunny ears or my waist ties and then I've got the rest of my ribbon which I'm going to use to finish lacing the corset. Now when you get to the very last hole you're simply going to go into that hole. It's possible depending on your number of grommets that you could end under, like on the back side of the corset or on the front side. So we're just going to tie these now. You can just tie a square knot that will hold it very, very strongly. If you want it to be decorative, you can tie a bow or whatever you like. And then there's usually some extra there, so you can just pull it back through. So you can kind of even these out. You'll probably have to loosen them to put the corset on anyway. Now you guys know how to put new laces into your corsets. And you can get your laces and your corsets from my website, daisyvictoria.com, where I hand make each corset to your specific measurements so it fits you perfectly. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great day and happy corsetry!